This is a CZ 2EZKM 22LR rimfire rifle. Originally they come with metal magazines. That's the 5 shot and that's the 10 shot. You can also get aftermarket and that's the 10 shot version. And there's the 5 shot version. There's a hole underneath. You just slot it in and you'll observe straight away that the five shot version is quite small there's a small catch you give it a push releases the magazine insert your next magazine and you'll notice with this on the ten shot magazine it sticks out quite a lot if you're hand holding or resting the rifle that might be a bit too bulky and a bit in the way I tend to use the five shot a lot more much easier to use, much easier to handle the rifle and if you do end up with your hand in that sort of area it's not that noticeable. The woodwork is quite simple, quite plain. It's a working rifle, bit of target shooting, pest control, vermin. It's not meant to look nice but the wood doesn't look too bad. When I originally bought this it had a basic 4 9 by 40 scope on it some reach forward mounts I've tried different scopes on it I've now settled with the Bushnell Elite 44mm version it's on sports match low mounts and I'm quite pleased with it a modification I have done is the trigger the blade is set back very slightly compared to the standard trigger blade this is a Timney trigger it's very light, hardly any pressure is needed to use the gun to fire it and I'm quite pleased with that. Much lighter touch compared to a modified standard CZ trigger where people modify it with a spring or tubes to take up the creep. There's no creep on this. It's a really nice trigger. Originally this was bought from the original owner. He'd added about 10 years. 1998 this was made the woodwork was well worn all the oiling the varnish whatever the original covering was it was quite worn away the guy that owned it he used it a lot he, sh he shot quite a few rounds through it many thousands of rounds and originally when I bought it I thought it was nice to have the history of the rifle and I was just continuing with what the guy had done using it and then I decided it's my rifle now I'll keep the history of the guy's words but it's time for me to make new history therefore the chimney trigger went on the mounts, the scope and I've been slowly making this my own rifle including rubbing down the stock and re-oiling it smoothing it down, I think it looks much better now than it did in originally. Another modification I'd done was take the rear sight off. That enabled me to use the low mounts with the scope. I've had medium mounts and a 50mm scope on this before. It's much nicer I think without that rear mount. It's left a bit of a shiny mark there and a bit of a, a groove effect, a bit of rough you can feel there. But as I said, I'm not after this for looks, it's to be used. Without that rear mount, there's no screw in the stock to hold the action down. It's only held down by this one screw. It hasn't affected anything. It's accurate as ever. And I've got no problems with it. It's a simple bolt action. There's a safety on there. I personally do not use the safety quite simple to use you just push the bolt forward and you lock it down how I use the safety on this I raise the bolt with the bolt in the raised position it doesn't fire with the bolts in the down position it's ready to go and at this point I would just say if you're a newcomer to rifles if you're thinking of buying a rifle you've never had one before 
or you're just going to look at one for sale I will point out anybody that hands a newcomer a novice a rifle they should at least hand them the rifle preferably without the bolt in but with the bolt in the raised position never in the down position so if you're a newcomer to rifle shooting and somebody hands you a rifle at the very least raise the bolt and preferably the person handing the rifle over should move the bolt backwards to show that the chamber's empty or if a newcomer is being given a rifle to look at regardless of it being up or down the bolt they should raise the bolt and pull the bolt backwards and as you see there I've used it as a snap cap although the CZs they don't need snap caps you can dry fire them I do keep a, an empty case in the chamber on occasions if it's short storage I put the bolt in and just dry fire to take the tension off the spring the most common way in a more desirable way is with the bolt in the upright position pull the trigger back and just lower the bolt and that is the firing pin then released and the tension taken off the spring to remove the bolt again if you're a newcomer and you're just wondering what to do with the CZs you pull the trigger back and the bolt with a little bit of wiggling slides out the scope cover on this one it catches the back of the bolt so it's a little bit fiddly for me with the scope cover on but that's how I store it normally I store with the bolt out I take the bolt out grip the firm the uh, body firmly drop the bolt down that's in the relaxed spring position and apart from taking the back sight off I've done a few other modifications and just show it you now there's a front stud you can either attach the sling or a bipod to it the modification I done originally this is a 21 inch barrel with a front sight I've had it cut down to 14 inches and although the original barrel was threaded for a silencer same moderator whatever you want to call it I had it re-threaded so I can fit it with a silencer and there's usually a thread protector that comes with a rifle as well when I originally bought this rifle the cheek area here it was all worn down to plain wood I rubbed it down I re-oiled it before it was re-oiled the bottom of the pistol grip I had a bit shaved off there a bit smoothed down and also add some wood taken from the stock area little simple modification just to reduce a little bit of weight and you'll also notice there's a rear stud there for the sling if you want to carry a sling on there you'll notice the butt pad doesn't quite look original the newer CZs they have a rubber butt pad this originally was fitted with a hard plastic one this pad itself is from a wire arc HW80 air rifle it's rubber shaped a little bit oh, I'd say better to fit into the shoulder the holes lined up perfectly with the CZ stock holes for the original screws I've used the original screws they stick out a little bit but it just makes it a little bit better on the shoulder it isn't a good fit there's a little bit of wood sticking up there although it's flush at the bottom you can feel where it doesn't quite follow the shape at the end of the stock but it's a good enough fit the holes line up and it's a better fit in the shoulder so I'm, I'm happy with that I can if wanted increase the distance so I can lengthen the stock area add a few spaces from the wire arc they will go straight on I did try with a, an adjustable butt pad just to help give this bit of a shape here and the adjustable pad added a bit of weight and it really didn't give any advantage and it increased the length back from the wood 
to the shoulder area a little bit too much for what I wanted and that's when I found this Wyrock one fitted quite well and I think it's a, a nice addition it doesn't fit it doesn't look good but as a working tool it does the job and it improved the rifle for me the last modification is the firing pin spring it's uprated an upgrade of a 10% more power so they call it I feel that it's not absolutely necessary but there are a few the 2.2 LR ammunition that seems to give dud misfires don't go off and although the uprated spring doesn't eliminate them I think when you're using a bad batch of ammunition it just helps a little bit not necessary but just one of those things where there's a very slight improvement the other thing that you can say about using the uprated springs is the so-called lock time a term used with air rifles the time from releasing the trigger to the firing pin activating the bullet it's just that fraction of a second shorter totally unnecessary I think but it's just one of those things perhaps it might be good for somebody who's a little bit twitchy when they pull the trigger but with a smooth action on the trigger and you follow through with the scope you follow the, the shot through I can't see it being needed but that's another modification that I've done